Hello YouTube, Dakota from Bowtie Media here, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a special track, a new track, a new Haywire track. It's been two and a half years since his last release, uh, so it's kind of a return from a hiatus of sorts from him. Uh, also, his return to Monster Cat uh, after being uh, elsewhere and releasing his own uh, stuff elsewhere, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm I'm pretty stoked. There's a couple artists in my kind of life or in my um, listening habits where if I see their release, I'm like more excited than other artists. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is like one of like my like top ones. Um, Haywire is one of them. Uh, up with like the like a Grant or an Eden or a Fiji Ouija or Glacier would be for me. Um, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Haywire is up there. So I'm super excited for this new track. Uh, it's called White Lie. And um, based off the album art, my guess is it's a little bit more vocal focused, I would say, it would be my guess from Haywire. I think it's going to be a bit of a different tonal shift than what we've heard from him, just back, purely guessing off of the album art. Um, I think it's going to be more of a somber track but um let's see if i'm wrong in any capacity so uh here we go listening to the brand new haywire uh this is white lie mm, a guitar lick maybe it's not a guitar right? motionless i'm standing still Nothing seems to make me move Oh got me here Not expecting this get me there. So even if it isn't true Let me have my white lie Then everything will be fine Even if it is more like that Really taking a like a lower registered vocal approach to this one. Let me have my white light. Then everything will be fine. Even if it isn't true, let me have my white light. And everything will be just fine. My white light. Oh. Wanted more of that last little bit. Wow. A bit of a, not a longer outro, but just a nice little landing. Um, dang, White Lie Haywire, uh, gotta say, I am a, a huge fan of that track. Um, I love that. That was super fun, super funky, as you always get with Haywire. 
Yeah, a couple things to note. Uh, I feel like, well, obviously the first thing I would say, I, I would think I was a little bit right at this being a little bit more vocal forward than Haywire has been in the past. Um, I think this is uh, less dominant on the production uh, or like, I guess, the, the synth stuff um, than it is on just more kind of embracing his his voice a little bit more. And uh, also there's a lot less processing on his voice than they've had, than he's done in the past historically, stylistically, uh, and for a little bit more of a, a raw vocal performance and a more raw tone, I think, through this track. And so uh, also keep a little lower register when he does the processing he often tends to go up a, an octave or two or just to kind of keep that kind of um, very like bright synthy sound to the voice and uh, this time it's a little bit more down a little bit more reserved a little bit more of a natural singing voice from him so um yeah, I, I loved it at, uh, a lot. I thought the different drops were great. I thought there was that uh, fun little kind of reserved, more uh, slower moment right at the end before they kind of ramp up into the uh, the chaos. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. I wish I had more of it. And honestly, I'm, I'm ready to play this back a, a ton more. And uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty special release. I, I really, really enjoy this. This feels, there's a moment where I, this felt a little bit like a Grant like collab of sorts. It, it kind of had the same structure that Grant puts to his tracks and his kind of um, kind of more older school future based hits of like a, a I don't know like a, a constellation or contagious something like that it just sounds a little bit more like it's got the kind of punch to it that given that give and take and so um, but it yeah yeah obviously it wasn't Grant but um, yes I I thought this was phenomenal I thought this was yeah also good tense where it's it's not really like a lower it's not like a, a bass driven song as something would be like uh, memory or do you don't you um, but is uh, like still that kind of deeper more warm tone to it um, that we haven't heard a ton of from Haywire. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Rather than um, it being like a deeper track like that, it's more, it's a warmer track. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited to hear what, uh, how I really get into this and dive into this um, in the next little bit and think about what my opinions are as, as a whole. But I really, really enjoyed this track. I think this was fantastic. And um, I also just think that there's no way this doesn't hit uh, the Monster Cat best of, I think for sure. Um, my guess with also recency, I think this might land in like a, a top five, I think, for uh, Monster Cat uh, best of the year voting, just because it's also got a bit of a recency bias to it, I think, because um, voting is, I'm assuming, coming up soon here. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of this track. Uh, I'm a huge fan, but let me know what you think of any and all in the comment section below. Other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.